Hello and welcome to another Fire Emblem WWE crossover video. Basically, the Royal Rumble did really well, so I figured I'd mess around with this concept some more, see if anything else does similarly as well, or also pretty well, and we'll see. We'll see if people keep enjoying it, because if so, I'm happy to do more of this. It was a lot of fun to do the last one. Now, today we are doing an eight woman ladder match now i'll explain what a ladder match is when we get into it but the people i've chosen are essentially some of the female lords from across the series um i haven't actually gotten around to making too many of the guys yet so we're sticking with the women for now because i've got a good pool of them available um a couple did have to miss out there's no byleth there's no lucina uh, there's no shez either so some of them did unfortunately miss out but i've gone for game representation over anything else so we've got selica we've got lynn erica robin Makaya, Corin, Aaliyah, and Edelgard. And I don't know why I said them in that order. I was just bouncing all over the place. But before we start, I would like to thank the people who back the channel on Patreon. It does help me out a lot, and I do really appreciate that support. So thank you very much to everyone who backs over there. Let's start the match, and I'll let you in on a little disclaimer. This is the second time I've done this, because the first time it ended in like five minutes. So, yeah, I'm hoping that doesn't happen again. Uh, I won't reveal who won the first one, but you'll be seeing it at the end of this if this one is equally as short and we'll just smash the two together and we'll have two ladder matches instead. Um, yeah, it was a bit of a mess, so hopefully this one doesn't take as long. But as for what a ladder match is, essentially, there is an object hanging above the ring and there is access to ladders around the ring as you can see here. The first person to set up a ladder and grab the object, in this case a briefcase, that is hanging above the ring is the victor. There is no pinfall, no submission, you can't be disqualified, you can't be counted out. The only way to win, the only way for the match to end is when somebody grabs that briefcase. Whoever does is the victor. So we see a couple of small skirmishes happening at the start. Robin and Makai are on the outside. R Robin, the highest rated person in the match at 98, with Edelgard currently in the ring fighting Lynn at second at 97. Then we've got Aaliyah and Corin, who are both also in the 90s. I think Corin's 95. I don't quite remember what Aaliyah is. I, don't, I think I went for 93. I don't quite remember. And then the other four, Makaya, Erica, Lynn, and Selica, are all in the 80s. As we see Edelgard going for an early ladder, and actually Lynn on the bottom side might be doing the same, and she is pretty uncontested right now. Um, although, Corin looking to get something out from under the ring. So there are some other weapons available. Someone could grab a chair or something, as Lynn's going for an early crack at the briefcase, and they're trying their hardest to deny me content today. Um... There we go. Aaliyah pushes the ladder over so they can stop each other getting the briefcase. Although Lynn is currently hanging on. Corin, can we focus on the task at hand, please? Is Lynn going to do this at right at this? No, she falls off. Okay. I don't know how she fell off, but she did. Um, so you will see a little meter come up when people start grabbing the ladder or start grabbing the briefcase. I'll explain how that works when it does. But once again, by the way, I should clarify, I'm not controlling anyone here. This is a purely AI match. As we see, Makaya and Erica just battering each other off in no man's land on the side. Lynn hitting a face buster onto Corrin. As she just delivers a couple of small jabs. I'd like some more people in the ring. I think that would make me feel more confident that the match isn't going to end in 0.2 seconds again. But right now, Lynn's just kicking Corrin. There's nothing too exciting going on. Oh, so a big face breaker hitting her there. But again, it's nothing too impactful. We see um, Edelgard tossing Robin around like she's nothing. Quite impressive to do to the highest rated person in the match. As Corin sets Lynn up on the ropes, it's just going to be a bulldog, but well, it looks like it did some damage. We see Lynn's stun meter moving moving up there, and he actually got nudged up by Aaliyah being thrown in the ring, of all things. Lynn is stunned, but Aaliyah is in the ring to stop Corin claiming an easy victory, as Edelgard's still just absolutely bullying Robin on the outside of the match. Well, I say that. She's just came in. Will she try and go for a small victory as Selica hits Erica with a suplex? We see Edelgard hitting Corrin with a slam. Although Aaliyah actually taking some damage there onto Edelgard. And Aaliyah, you can't pin, mate. You can't make a tap out either. Stop trying these things. You're in the wrong... Although submissions do still have some merit. They can still, you know, impact another person's ability to perform. Can still do some damage. Uh, and speaking of damage, if you look down at the bottom, Robin has taken up to a red body and a yellow head after that clothesline from Micaiah. 
already. Edelgard hits an axe kick, I think that was, onto Aaliyah. I think that might be a finisher, you know? And Makaya comes in, tries to take advantage, but Edelgard just doesn't care at all. Uh, very strong in this matchup, Edelgard is looking. Um, I don't know why I spelled like Yoda. But yeah, Edelgard's looking really strong here. She's just not quite able to secure anything to give her a win yet. But she's even taken out, like, she's absolutely destroyed Robin, who's probably the, well, she is the highest rated in the match. So Edelgard showing ratings don't really matter that much. It's how you use them. As we see Robin hitting Lynn in the ring. Selica looks kind of dead at the top there. Hopefully she's... Oh, she's killing Erica. Never mind, I'm wrong. Uh, Selica is killing Erica at the top. Erica is hiding behind the ring. As we see Robin setting up a ladder. And somebody needs to go and stop this. Edelgard? Do you want to go handle that? Corin? Anyone? No. No. Erica, not the time, buddy. So you see this meter. When they get it in that little gap, the little ball needs to go in the gap like that. And it will light one of those things up as green. When that happens, when all five of them are green, then the match is over. And whoever does that will grab the briefcase and win. So currently two of them are. Now those do persist through ladder attempts. So the next person to go up only has to do three. You don't have to do all five in one go. You just need to do all five over the course of a match. And they are cumulative between people as well. So... Even though that was Robin going up there to do it, if, say, Erica went up next, she would still only have to do three. Now, no ladders in the ring is probably a good thing for the duration of the match, although Corrin's looking to change that from the signs, from the looks of it. Or Selica, as I say. Robin stops Corrin, but Selica does shove a ladder in there. And the only person in the ring is a stunned Erica. Hopefully, he can get to her feet and uh, stop anything untoward happening here, as though Selica just sets the ladder up in the corner. To use as some sort of weapon or tool. We see, well, a good number of people in the ring currently. Erica, Selica, Robin, and Lynn. Should stop anyone being able to claim a victory just yet. As Aaliyah does manage to grab Robin. By the way, Makai is just dead at the top. Um, Corin and Edelgard are just fighting each other out there. Erica's been thrown out the ring and killed. Uh, Robin also trying to roll to safety. Aaliyah just gives a little kick to Lynn there. She's, no, I thought she was going to throw Lynn into Selica, but no, not quite. Although Aaliyah is pretty heavily dominating the ring right now. Micaiah comes in. Uh, I don't think that's the person you need to be targeting, Micaiah. There's a certain multi-haired woman who's uh, dominating everyone, although Lynn did manage to get a little counter on her there. As Edelgard is just bear-hugging Corrin. Edelgard just doesn't care this match. She's just killing people. Micaiah's also got insane body durability for some reason. She's still yellow on her body. Um, which is quite impressive right now. Selica, the only other person who's not red. So, hmm. No one's really... I think Edelgard has looked the strongest, but she's not actually looked like winning it, as we see a face buster onto Erica. Everyone's getting back into the ring here. And we see a big clothesline onto Aaliyah. Ah, uh, this... It's going to be very difficult for anyone to win with all eight competitors in the ring. I say eight, seven. Now as Erica's thrown out, Makaya exits to make it six. Corin exits to make it five. Makaya comes back in. Lynn goes out. Okay, I'm not going to just count who's in the ring. Um, although I'm going to take a drink because after I did the Royal Rumble, my throat like died on me. So I'm going to make sure I drink enough water during this. Just to let you know, by the way, this match has already gone longer than the first attempt at this. So, yeah, that's how short that one was. As we see Selica setting up a ladder. Now, that would be a very surprise victory. Why is Corin just taunting while Selica is trying to grab the ladder? No way. Is Selica going to do it? Surely not, right? No, Erica drank, drags her down, but the... The briefcase is up to four notches here. Only one more needed. If anyone can get up that ladder, you've got to fancy them to do it because the AI are extremely slow at reacting to it. They, they, they don't go until they're up there getting the briefcase. So it's a, it's a bit difficult to try and gauge who will actually be the person to win because it's whoever can snatch at an opportunity, really. Even someone lower rated could definitely take it. 
so Makaya's going for a ladder, although she's just going to prop it up in the corner. And then unprop it up in the corner and hit Celica with it in the face. She sets it up, and Erica coming in the ring knocks it down again. Okay, no victory quite yet. But yeah, this has already gone longer than the first attempt, so I'm reasonably happy with that. At least we've got like 10 minutes out of it. As we see Erica powerbombing Micaiah outside of the ring. Jesus Christ, unnecessary, Erica. Hold on, everyone's just left the ring. Erica could have just won there, I thought. But instead just throws herself on top of Lynn outside the ring. We see Corin throwing Edelgard in. Erica has gone for a ladder, but Micaiah has gone for it too. She's just going to stop Erica seizing any victories. But Edelgard could take advantage here. I think Micaiah just tried to grab Edelgard and missed. Oh, I don't want to see this. There's a potential victory going on. Get the camera off of Robin. No, Micaiah's powerbombing Edelgard off of the ladder. Could Micaiah take it herself? I think she's going to. No one's in the ring to even try and stop her. And Micaiah's just going to win. Pretty much uncontested. She missed the actual briefcase. She didn't get it. She did now. Micaiah has just snatched the victory with nobody else caring. I don't think ladder matches are the best for this, you know. Uh, I think we can do better. But Micaiah secures a victory. I'll let you know right now. Uh, actually, no, I won't because I might show the other one after this. And then if I combine those two ladder matches together, we might have a real... Real video about 20 minutes long, that'll do. But yeah, Micaiah does snatch it. Edelgard was pretty strong in that match, but unfortunately, as is the way with a ladder match, being the best in it doesn't mean you're going to win. It's whoever can get up there and snatch that briefcase, and Micaiah found a moment alone in the ring when the briefcase was already very low and managed to grab it away, so fair play. Underrated, perhaps, but wasn't really given a chance in this match. You look at people like Corin. Robin, Edelgard herself, and you don't suspect Micaiah is going to be the one to come and take it, but she was able to pull it out and grab the victory. So, yeah, maybe I'll put the two ladder matches together and upload it at some point. I'm not really sure. We'll find, we'll figure that out at some other point. But, so, a couple of them didn't quite make it, but I went for game representation more than, like, characters. And Jesus Christ, it's got underway straight away. Um, people immediately being tossed out of the ring. So you see a couple of the ladders start propped up. There are also more hidden under the ring as well. Everyone's killing everyone. Robin, by far the highest rated... Well, not by far, but slightly the highest rated person in this match. Is going to town on Aaliyah. We see Edelgard on the outside battling Micaiah. Edelgard, the only one who I'd really expect to compete with Robin in this affair. So, hopefully she can provide some competition, but again, it's quite a chaotic match. Anyone could sneak in and take it. And it's not like Corin or Aaliyah are too far off of the pace either. As Selica and Erica battling on the outside. I've got quite a few creations in this. I made Micaiah, Erica, and Selica, so a few of them are mine, which is always quite nice. And I do apologize uh, if there are any pauses in me talking. After I recorded the Royal Rumble, my throat decided to kill itself, so um, I'm trying to make sure I drink enough water during the process of this recording so that doesn't happen again, because, um, yeah, that was... Whoa! Someone's just been slammed onto a ladder there. That's, um, that's got to be quite painful. But, yeah, I'm trying to make sure that doesn't happen again. Um, once again, by the way, I'm not controlling anyone here. It's a, it's a CPU free-for-all. And... Jesus Christ, there is action everywhere. We see um, Micaiah getting slammed in the ring. There, no one's currently in the ring. If Robin can actually get Micaiah down, she might be able to snag an early victory. I don't know how long the AI ladder matches typically go on for. I have heard they can go on for quite a while, which I'm excited by the prospect of. And there we go. We see the ring filling up a little bit again. Where is Aaliyah? Um, oh, she's there. She's just hit Edelgard with a DDT. Someone's missing. No, they aren't. I can see it. Am I blind? Was someone just not there? Anyway, um, me just losing sight of people aside, Robin has set up the ladder in the middle and is actually going for a very early grab. Corin's been thrown into the ring. Will she be able to stop it? You see the little mini game there lining up. We can actually see the AI playing the mini game, and uh, Robin messed up said mini game. Pushed the ladder over. Corin pushed the ladder over, I should say, and power bombed Robin. 
to prevent an early win. That would have been very underwhelming if today's video was four minutes long. But we see Selica trying to battle it out. I think Robin and Edelgard are definitely the favourites here. Uh, being rated at 98, 97 respectively. And then I think we've got Aaliyah at, I want to say 93. Uh, Corin at 95 as well. And then you're into the 80s for Lynn, Makaya, Selica and Erica. Although Erica is doing something. Uh, I think the animation janked out a bit there. And we've also can see a ladder has been bridged over to the announce desk. Um, the AI love doing this. Uh, I don't really know why. It's just odd. But yeah, there is now a ladder bridge going from the ring to the announce desk. And I'm not entirely sure why. But, you know, there is. As we see... A body slam onto Makaya. Again, everyone fighting outside of the ring. Apart from, is Corin trying to go in? She is. Although, will she, is Selica also actually putting a ladder in the ring. Aaliyah is thrown in though. We should be able to stop anyone getting the briefcase this early. No, nothing too dramatic. Robin's just snatching on that while Aaliyah's busy doing moves on Corin. Um, Aaliyah? Aaliyah? Turn around. Oh, she's got the first tick. She's got the third. Hold on. Robin's going for a very early win here. Okay, they've they've stopped her. This could be a very short match. Um, Robin's already got the briefcase mostly down. So when all the five of those are done, the briefcase will be gotten. And whoever does that will win the match. As we see Aaliyah maybe go for it. No. Micaiah hit on the outside of the ring. That is not where my focus is right now. Corin's going for it. Edelgard, hello? Is... No. Stop the Corin. Stop. There we go. I have content in mind here. We don't want this match to end in six minutes. That's a bit too much. You know, 15 minutes or something, fine. You know what? We'll, we'll take it. But six minutes is a little bit much. We're not expecting a full-blown Royal Rumble every time, but this, that's, that's too short. The AI is all on Legendary, although I don't know if that affects, affects it when I'm not in the match. So, it's hard to say. As Corin once again setting up the ladder. Hopefully, Erica is capable of stopping them. And it does look like they are pulling them just off the ladder over there. Someone's got a chair out. And I don't know when that happened, but there is a chair on the left-hand side of the ring there. As Edelgard just staring at a ladder. The game loves to jank out a little bit. As we see... Oh, a reversal from Corin. And it's a face buster onto Edelgard. Erica trying to take a quick jab at the ladder as the camera pans to Selica. No, the briefcase is broken. The briefcase is stuck at a 90 degree angle. Everything that has gone wrong in this match, or that could have gone wrong in this match, has gone wrong. Corin, Edelgard's going for the briefcase. This might be... Nope. Okay, Corin manages to stop Edelgard. Uh, this is looking like it could be a very short affair, but Corin and Edelgard battling on top of the ladder as Aaliyah goes to push it over, and no, um, Erica stops that that fun. They pull Corin off of the ladder. I don't think that's a smart thing to do with Edelgard still up there. Somebody needs to stop her as Erica leaves the ring. Do you not see what's happening behind you? Okay, Corin is pushed off the ladder. Edelgard's going up. Lynn is trying to push it over. Will Edelgard manage to take the win? She will. Edelgard has won the match. Okay, that was very short. That is not going up. We will run that back and try it again. This might be a bonus clip at the end if the next one is equally as short. But that was a very short affair. There is a chance you might see two of these today. Thank you all very much for watching. I really appreciate the support, and I hope you're still enjoying these. I'll keep them going for a few weeks, see how they continue to do, because that Royal Rumble did quite well, so I wonder if other shorter matches will do equally as well. Let's, let's find out. But yeah, thank you all very much for watching. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Drop a rating if you haven't already, and subscribe if you want to see more. And thank you again to the people who back the channel on Patreon. It really means a lot. So thank you very much for all of that support. I will catch you all next time. Have a wonderful rest of your day, and goodbye.